Hello everyone, this is a November 14 question, paper 1-1 one, one, and the question number is 17. Uh, this question is concerned with the chapter uh, group 17, inorganic chemistry and uh, related to the top topic, displacement reactions. Question which, under standard conditions, which statement is correct? Uh, Cl minus aqueous can oxidize Br2 aqueous. Uh, these are the four options. Uh, now, uh, first of all about uh, displacement uh, reaction, uh, the main thing occurs there is uh, redox reactions. So something is oxidized, uh, something is reduced and uh, what the statement of uh, displacement reaction says is a statement of definition whichever feels comfortable. Uh, it says uh, more reactive hydrogen displaces a less reactive uh, more reactive halogen sorry not hydrogen more reactive halogen displaces a less reactive halogen from halide solution uh, which has uh, less reactive halogen so uh, using chlorine and bromine as an example we could have uh, uh, Cl2 plus uh, NaBr this should give us NaCl and uh, Br2 which means uh, bromine has been displaced from this uh, uh, reactive uh, bromine has been uh, uh, displaced by chlorine uh, in this reaction now if we uh, see for example Br2 plus NaCl uh, this uh, does not bromine does not uh, we will uh, definitely not have NaBr plus Cl2 because bromine does not uh, this equation is incorrect bromine cannot uh, displace uh, chlorine from NaCl because uh, chlorine is more reactive than bromine. Uh, it uh, you could uh, read more about it uh, on uh, reactivity of halogens going down the group. So this equation is incorrect and this is correct. Now yeah we could also balance this. We have uh, two chlorine, uh, two here, uh, two sodium, two sodium. Everything is balanced. Now if we convert uh, this equation into its ionic form. Uh, sodium and sodium are uh, sc uh, spectator reactions, uh, spectator ions. Uh, they take no part whatsoever in this reaction. So we could just have Cl2 plus uh, 2Br minus. We'll remove sodium from both of these. Gives uh, 2Cl minus plus Br2, which is the same. We have minus 2 charge here, minus 2 charge here, and uh, chlorine, 2 chlorine, 2 chlorine, 2 bromine, 2 bromine. Uh, product reactants balance, charge balance. So this equation is correct. Now what we can see is uh, our option is Cl minus aqueous can oxidize Br2. But what is happening here is uh, the oxidation number of chlorine in uh, this case is 0. Bromide is minus 1. Chloride is minus 1. And bromine is 0. So what is happening here is chlorine is oxidizing bromide ions. Because uh, oxidizing bromide ion means uh, bromide ion goes from minus 1 to 0. And chlorine goes from 0 to minus 1. So chlorine has been reduced uh, and it has oxidized the bromide ions. So if we check the options, uh, chlorine Cl- minus can oxidize Br2 aqueous. This is obviously no, uh, not our correct answer choice. Cl- minus can reduce. Uh, reduce. Uh, we have uh, chlorine has been oxidizing bromine. Cl2 can oxidize Br- minus. Yes, uh, this is correct answer. Cl2 aqueous can oxidize Br- minus. Br- minus has been oxidized. Minus 1 to 0. So option C is correct. Uh, let's check option D. Cl2 can reduce. So obviously, reduce is not correct. So, uh, option C is correct for question number 17.